Hey folks, Steve here. How you doing? I just shot a video just inventorying various uh, drywall knives that I have. It was based on a question from a comment from somewhere. And I realized as I was about ready to put these knives away, the difference between, you know, just being a contractor and being a handyman, things that you carry, things that you don't. So let me show you something that I carry as a handyman that I probably wouldn't have if I were a general contractor uh, all the time. Because, you know, sometimes I kind of wear both of those hats. So here is just thinking drywall. Here are a couple of things that I'm carrying. So one thing is, is this patching mud, this hot mud. So, you know, the five minute easy sand, you see exactly what that is. I certainly use that for quick repairs that I have to get in and out on one day and I need to be able to get it paint ready. So I'm going to start with that and then maybe a 20 minute mud. And then after that, maybe skim coat with regular. It's one thing that I would maybe not have if I were not also in the handyman business as well when I'm filling in the gaps in between jobs, the one days, the two days, things like that. Also, thinking drywall, I have a lot of these patch kits. And, you know, whenever I need them, there I have a whole bunch there. I have this really interesting uh, wet and fix uh, situation. I've never used this yet. What this is for is if you have a patch that you need to make where you're putting in, say, a toilet paper holder, and you got to put an anchor in, and that anchor is spinning. So how do you prevent the anchor from spinning now that you have a giant hole? Well, you can actually wrap your anchor in this. So, you, you know, you wet it and wrap it, and you can use up to two, I think. And it'll set up in three minutes, and it'll hold that anchor in place well enough for you to screw. So that's something that I would have as a handyman that I don't necessarily think that I would be carrying around as a general contractor. Although it's good stuff, it's just for repair. And if I were installing a brand new bathroom and screwed up a hole, the anchor is spinning or something like that because I didn't have any blocking behind it, then, you know, there's, there's an option right there. So maybe, you know, that stuff is actually good for contractors too that are just full-time contracting. However, and I'm one of these guys that kind of has to do it all um, in that, you know, I'm not subbing very many things out, hardly anything out, maybe he HVAC. I'll, set, I'll, I'll, I'll sub HVAC out. But other than that, I'm pretty much, I can, I can do and do everything as necessary on a job site. And so if I screwed up, I guess even the patching kits would be nice. Well, there you have it, folks. A little bit of, you know, contractor versus handyman. You may not have those in your kits, but then again, you do. Handymans, yeah, or handymen, handy women, handy people. We should have things like that because these are the types of repairs that you would be expected to make pretty much on the fly, uh, you know, whether it's a planned trip or whether it's like a, hey, while you're here, the answer is always yes to that because cha-ching, it's always a change order. Hey folks, have a good one. And if you haven't, please like and subscribe down there. I would appreciate it Help me, helping me grow the channel base and getting my goofy ideas out there to anybody and everybody will listen. All right, y'all take care.